read English material extensively outside the classroom setting. And infrequent group, uh, infrequent group contains the student who did not read extensively outside the classroom setting. Okay. Um, the classification, the classification of the frequent and infrequent group based on the response of the students um, to the frequency of the of English of reading English material uh, uh, materials um, every week outside of the classroom the classroom setting. Okay, and types of the university were classified in the two hundred one project the university and not two hundred one project the university. In the present study, a two hundred one project refers to all. Uh, the key universities in Southwest China, which including three provinces, Yunnan, Sichuan, and Guizhou provinces. Okay. Right, um, particularly I would like to explain the definition of reading strategies. In the present study, uh, reading strategies have been defined as methods, skill, or, or behaviors that students employ for textual comprehension or solving problems when they read all kinds of English materials, either inside or outside classroom settings. Right, okay. Um, so I'm going to report why uh, I decided to conduct the present study. For a long time, the increased use of reading strategies has aroused many researchers' attention. It has been proved that um, the use of reading strategies have contributed to the success of language reading comprehension. In China, English reading is a skill language um, it, with its importance annually growing as the tertiary institution. However, many Chinese universities have limited choice of reading strategies and cannot read English, uh, cannot read, uh, read English texts for, uh, effectively for comprehension. So therefore, um, this aroused the researchers' attention and interest. Then the researcher decided to contact, uh, conduct the present study, okay, in order to uh, investigate the frequency and the overall use of reading strategies by the university uh, by the university students in Southwest China, to investigate significant variation and patterns of variation. Okay, in the frequency of students' use of reading strategies in relation to the investigated variables, and to explore the reasons uh, for students reporting employing certain strategies frequently and certain strategies infrequently. So altogether, four objectives of the study. Right. Um, right. This is a theoretical work for present study. Altogether, six independent variables have been investigated in, pre in the present study. They are student gender, fields of study, just including male and female, and for fields of study, other oriented and size oriented, as I mentioned earlier. Okay. Extensive reading, um, reading proficiency, teacher's gender, and types of university. The dependent, uh, the dependent variable was um, reading strategy, including type and frequency of reading strategies. We can note that there are some uh, arrows. These arrows indicate the relationships between the independent variable and the dependent variable. To be more specific, the researcher has hypothesized that the sixth independent variable would affect student choices of reading strategies. And we also noticed that the relationship between uh, the reading strategy in use and the levels of reading proficiency was bi-directional. That's to say, students' use of reading strategies would affect students' levels of reading proficiency, which in turn, students' levels of reading proficiency would affect their choices of reading strategies. 